Hello everyone and welcome back to Amando Media. In today's video, I will be showing you my YouTube appeal video sample. If you didn't watch my previous videos on how we got demonetized on YouTube and uh, how you can create your appeal video, that means the instructions, the tips and tricks on how to create your appeal video, make sure you check the link in the description maybe before proceeding to watch this video. That will guide you on the steps that you need to take on how to create an appeal video. It's very important you watch those videos. Should in case YouTube don't approve your appeal video, what steps should you take next? Make sure you watch this video to the end so that you can know the steps to take if your appeal wasn't approved by YouTube. I will present to you my sample video and come back at the end to give you a conclusion on what YouTube sent after just six hours. I will be right back. Hello YouTube, I am Aman from Amando Media. I recently got an email stating that my channel was demonetized due to reuse content. I am here today to submit an appeal video. Please kindly review it. My channel name is Amando Media and my channel URL is this one with the custom one down below. I have so many content on my channel and I will be explaining to you how I always do to make my content. If you look at my videos, I quite started by doing a lot of mixed content where I was using only my phone to film interviews, long interviews of people uh, talking. And with time, I started doing tutorials videos with the faceless option on how to edit videos with the Vegas Pro. I also went around doing some YouTube helpful videos, graphic design with the Adobe Photoshop where I got a subscription with the Creative Cloud. So I got Premiere Pro that I use in editing my videos. I also got um, a Photoshop for my thumbnails. This is how I edit my videos using Premiere Pro. I got everything here. This is me talking. I also use um, Photoshop when it comes to doing my uh, thumbnails. So everything is right here. When it comes to doing thumbnail, I edit. I do everything on my own. I also got Adobe Audition in doing voice over when it comes to uh, videos, tutorials. I got some behind the scene where I position my camera like this because I got a camera. This is how I film one of my videos, the behind the scene, because not all the videos that I shoot I really do the behind the scene because I will just like position my camera like now and then the camera will be filming this. So there is no extra device that I put to be filming the entire space that I find myself. This is where all of my recording goes. This is my recording folder. This is how I record my videos. I also got my files for the behind the scene. So you will get this files all here this is where i export all of my videos here under the render audio i got my voice over so when after exporting from adobe audition i will get everything right there here i got my thumbnail section so everything that i do i put thumbnails right in here i also got some behind the scene for some clipped videos, some behind the scene, but this time around, they are photos that were taken during that uh, video shoot back in the days. If you look at my content, when I started, the quality of the video wasn't that good because I had no camera. I had no microphone to take better audio or to record better audio. So with time, after getting all this equipment, I started tilting towards making tutorial videos. I shoot and edit 
everything by myself. I do my thumbnails by myself. I upload my videos by myself. I also do my screen recording with OBS. That is what I'm using right now. It can't be shown on the screen. I also use what we call the Prism Live Studio. Please kindly review my channel one more time and then give me your feedback. Thank you, YouTube, and thanks for helping the community. Okay, after like six hours that I submitted my appeal video to YouTube, this is what I got as a reply. Let me read. Hi, Amando Media. Thanks for contacting us about your recent suspicion from the YouTube panel program. Our team carefully reviewed your appeal and your channel but we are not able to re-accept you into the YouTube partner program at this time. You can find specific feedback from our reviewers in your YouTube studio. That is what YouTube said. Your channel remains ineligible for monetization and the reasons they gave me why they couldn't accept my appeal was that videos referenced in your appeal are not representatives of your channel. Your appeal focused on a small number of videos on your channel instead of explaining your channel as a whole. In order for your suspension to be overturned, the majority of your channel should follow our policies. What you can do next, you can still reapply for the YouTube partner program 90 days after you received your channel's initial suspension. That means from the time I got suspended. You may want to make some changes to your channel before you apply again. While we can't promise that you will be accepted into the YouTube Panda program, these steps may help to improve your eligibility. Take a look at your YouTube monetization policies. Review your videos with our policies in mind. Edit or delete any videos that violate our policies. Reapply for YouTube Panda program on your account monetization page at least 90 days after your channel was suspended. If you reapply, our reviewers team will carefully check your channel again to make sure it meets our YouTube monetization policies. We will update you in YouTube Studio once the review process is complete. This usually takes about one month. All is left for me to do is to look at my channel, try to figure out videos or any content which I think might be the issue. I can either delay this content, I can either modify or edit this content using the YouTube editor. With the YouTube editor, you can like trim parts of the video, you can blur people's faces, you can change the audio and other things in the video but you cannot add any content like a particular video on that i think is something that youtube has to look into it because it is important you can now use that in order to add some value to that video also make sure your youtube channel about section or description follows the type of content that you create edit if necessary and then you reapply again for monetization after 90 days from your suspension if you want to know detailly what led to our demonetization or what are the instructions or the steps to follow to create an appeal video make sure you watch these two videos right here thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video Bye-bye for now and please stay safe.